Hello and welcome back to the Banter Gaming Channel for yet more Next Car Game. We have finally got a proper demo. Uh, an early access on Steam pre-alpha demo. Uh, available to all those who have pre-ordered. Also the uh, original tech demo is available to, the, to anyone now, so there you go. Uh, but yes, get this, simply pre-order and you'll get a Steam key that you can use to get into the early access. My god, two cars, three tracks, a couple of customization options, 98% of the features locked, but it doesn't matter. Because it's finally here in a form, and wow. Now yes, I'm run this is in 720p, but I wanted to try and make the graphics look alright. Uh, to screw the resolution. And I think it does look okay. A couple of things turned off, dynamic reflections, shadow quality is down to halfway. Um, but yeah, most mostly... Mostly higher settings. Uh, yeah, now... I suppose first we'll have a look at the, the other car that you, you would have seen in the uh, tech demo, if you watched it. Little Fiat. It's friggin' awesome, it's rear-wheel drive, rear-engined. Uh, no names for the cars yet, as far as I can tell. So I'm assuming this is going to be called a pepper, or a chili, or one of the two. It's kind of what it... Yeah, it's kind of an ongoing flat-out thing. Uh, I like the way that the uh, wipers are actually away from the windshield there, sort of in a beater style, little crack in the windshield. Very, very nice. Love the exhaust. Now, go back to this for a second, I'll show you a couple of things you can do. Uh, change parts. So here we have, we've got uh, standard tyres, racing gravel, super tarmac, which I'm going to install on this. Give me the... there we go. And the engine, it's got the 300 horsepower one, which I believe was the one in the tech demo. And you've got a 500 horsepower V8. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Naturally, fit. The, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. You actually get different rims and the uh, markings on the side of the tyre. Different. That's awesome. I never noticed that. Is there any difference when you fit the engine? No. There might be a difference under the hood that we can't see. But yes, obviously I'm going to have the 300 horsepower. Now that's the only option you've got here, but the ones we can see are repair car, research, imagine that's so you can research parts, car info, argh, tell me more, test drive, sell, and set as favourite. Let's have a look at this. Right. So, change parts, got European, Euro standard, Euro racing, Euro tarmac, we'll fit tarmac to that as well. That's more so what I'm most likely to do first, we'll have a look at the gravel ones. Same, same rims. Yeah, just different brakes actually, I think. And it's a uh, straight 452 and a straight 4 220. I cannot think why you'd fit the smaller one. Maybe for demo derbies? Maybe the more powerful engines are more fragile? Don't see a weight difference from that. So there we go, we've got the menu as well, we've got the settings, you can do the controller and the volume and the go to forum. And then that's it. So I figure we should go race. We'll take out our um whatever the hell it was called again, Detroit Superior ZS. Is there a name on this? Mm, not that I can see. Uh no. We will never know what you are. So Go race. I hear the options. Derby Stadium. Oh, great. Thank you, people on Steam. I don't know if that comes up in the video. Hopefully not. All uh, right. D Derby Stadium. 24 cars. Derby Stadium. 12. Race gravel. 12 and 24 and two. Tarmac. 24, 12 and two. So there you go. Going to do 12 cars on the tarmac. Got manual shifting. Traction control off, and it's been off, obviously. You can all turn, turn them all on or change them, whatever, and ABS on. I do like to be able to slow down into corners. <laughs> so, uh, let's start this. Finally, let's try and win a race. I haven't actually completed a race yet, I've been dicking around more than anything else. So, this is going to be another case of I'll stop recording when I'm finished and we'll split into sections. So, next one or two videos, whatever, you may not see intros to. Well, you'll see an intro, but you won't have me introducing the video. I'm sure you're fine with that. That's how Roger's done his NFS videos for a long time now. Ah, uh, it takes a little while to load. That's to be expected. 
hopefully this runs fine. I mean, I, I had it at decent frame rates before. Before I noticed the car bodies are just as squishy as they are in the tech demo, so it's going to be interesting trying to complete an entire race. That's, um, yeah, we could be limping across the finish line if we get there at all. Oh, we up and load. There we go. Go. Passes the grid. I'm supposed to pass the grid. Deciding not to this time. Hmm. Odd. Okay. So right triggers gas, right bumpers. Um, right and left bumper are the shift up, shift down. Respectively. That's a flipping car over there. That's great. Uh, you've got the little markers on around the car, like in Demolition Derby, which I think is just great. Oh, yeah, <laughs> just the tail steps out brilliantly. Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun. Honestly, the driving physics, someone mentioned it might have been Highway Dash, uh, are you, one of you fans mentioned, uh, that when I do the massive uh, 180 degree drifts, it looks like it's got a really fun driving engine, a physics engine, and yes, yes it does. <laughs> it really, really does. You could not do that in the flat out games, you just sort of s slide and lose all momentum and engine box down, but this, this is fun. This is really very, very fun. Shift up there. AI appears to be struggling with the concept of a wall there, backing into it, but that's fine. Uh, yes, I'll state again, pre-alpha, so there are going to be bugs, there are going to be things missing, it's going to crash randomly, but, you know, that's what you expect from a pre-alpha, and if that's not what you want to see, then don't watch the video, or don't play the game, wait until it's fully released. Whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Right, I don't know the reset car button yet, but I do know you can do that, so... <laughs> so it appears it's not too hard to roll your car. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm fine with physics like that. 130 kilometers an hour, so what's that? Uh, it's about 70 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour. I'm sure one of you guys from Europe will be able to tell me. A uh, bit of understeer there. Tires all over the track. Pulling a little bit to the right. I think we've bent the suspension. Ah, uh, turn! This car still sounds so good. If the uh, gain volume is a bit high for you, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, we've really knackered the right hand side of the car. Uh, I just I love the uh, sound effects so. Deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, even uh, for recording a video of this, I don't want to be without the awesome sound of this. Some little nudge there. The V8 engine. Oh! <laughs> he's. Yep. That's how you get a lead in this game. so smoky in the bandit sometimes. <laughs> Wait till you see this on the the dirt track, it comes kinda funny then. Manual gearbox is great, I'm enjoying that. And there we go, across the line. Um Yeah. <laughs> uh we shall go to the garage I guess. That was fun. I like this game. I cannot wait till it's a full game. <laughs> I really can't. Uh, quick drink. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth every penny so far. I'm glad to be able to be involved in the development to a degree as well, to see it progress. I don't think we're getting extra parts. Right. I figure we should probably fit gravel tires and uh, take her, take her on a dirt race. Uh, I'll do 12 cars again. We'll try it with 24, see if it's playable um, at some point. But we'll go through everything else first, and then we'll have a look at some of the stuff for 24 cars. So, same same settings. Let's let's get in there. Now, obviously, the, uh, I'd imagine the race menu will be completely different for the career in the full game. 
I long to see what they're going to add to the demo in January. Maybe another car? Maybe some more tracks? Who knows? Maybe a couple of features? Love some of the visual modifications to be implemented. Yeah, maybe even a basic currency thing. You know how in uh, the GT Academy 2013 demo they had uh, currency and you could do the races and buy the cars. It was very, very basic and very, very quick. Even if they had something like that, it would be, be good to give you a sense of it. Right. And we're off like a boss. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Maybe this is why you have the smaller horsepower engine. Five. I haven't tried the 500 on this yet. I probably should have told you guys that. <laughs> spinny, spinny. Feather the throttle. A shifter into higher gear. So She's not as talky. There we are. Jesus. Bit of air. Right, we're into 11th now, we're not last. Definitely just going to keep it on for inferred all the way through. The tracks look very familiar. Uh, they have a very familiar feeling, although just a little bit more real. You know, the dirt feels real, the... That track actually feels like a track, you know, this could be passable for an actual thing, rather than racing around a construction site. Come on. Big air! It's nice, nice landing. He's already a bit beat up, him. Definitely keep it in the higher gear going into the corner. Oh, we've damaged the front left quite a lot there. Oh my god, that's a big spin from that guy. Out of the way. Oh, damage on the right hand side. <laughs> oh no! Turn! Oh shit. I don't think we're going to be completing this race, guys. <laughs> the car is a tiny bit bent. Just a. Oh, it doesn't turn anymore. Can we get through the concrete barrier? No. Okay. Uh, we'll. I think we will, um, yeah, we'll go back to the garage and we'll fit the 300 horsepower engine. <laughs> that is, yeah, not usable on the dirt. I uh, don't know if they'll ever fit better dirt tires than that. If not, I assume that's something you're definitely going to have to consider is how big an engine you fit or how much, how much tuning you do to your car before you take it out at any sort of dirt race. Definitely on the gravel tires fit the 300 horsepower and uh, let's get in, get in there. <laughs> 